Hello everyone, um, just thought I'd make uh, one last video before leaving the boat for the season. I'm showing you my old FlexoFold prop. So I had bought this prop in 2014, in the summer of 2014. And I've done some extensive mileage with it, but as you can see, it's all greenish. The blades are all greenish and the worst of all is, you see these cogs here have all been corroded and chewed up. Um, so that happened because I didn't have like a galvanic insulator on my boat, which on production boats, it doesn't come standard, particularly European um, production boat will not have a galvanic insulator. So you want to make sure uh, that you install one because it prevents all kinds of problem when you connect your boat to the shore power on the dock. So um, that prop before it corroded like that uh, was actually functioning just fine. It was a very, very decent prop. Like I was getting 7.2 knots uh, at 2200 RPM with my Volvo 55 horsepower. Um, I'm pushing like a 40 foot uh, Bavaria 40 and that prop works really, really well. It's a two bladed model. Uh, a lot of people will say that it's better to have a three bladed prop for a cruising boat. I'm sure they, they have a reason to say that. Uh, I find I have no problem with maneuverability or parking the boat or speed. Uh, this two-bladed prop just works fine for me. So uh, unfortunately, this unit was kind of at the end of its life uh, and I had to change it. So after I installed the galvanic insulator, I went for this new FlexoFold two-bladed prop with the same pitch and same diameter prop. And as you can see, it's been in the water for two years and the cogs are still good and there's no trace of corrosion on it. Um, this prop is particular because it's a composite core prop. So here is not a bronze part. It's actually a plastic part that's holding uh, the blades. Sorry, it's kind of tough. Yeah, there you go. So now it's folded, but this piece here that's holding the blades together is plastic. That's all plastic. So there's no metal connection between the sail drive to the shaft that's all metal there's a core of metal on the shaft here but what's holding the blade is completely plastic and you can see the anodes here i've noticed that these anodes actually go uh quick like they uh they get to be chewed up really quick and my sail drive anode just doesn't doesn't get um uh, chewed up as quick but these ones go super quick so you have to have a good supply of them and this is the position of the prop when it's folded so of course it's uh it's uh offering a lot less drag in the water and then when you start pushing on the engine it actually unfolds like that and it performs really really well like both in sailing mode and in powering mode uh it, it's really good now the one thing that you notice with these props, that these folding props, a big difference in uh, in performance is when you go backwards. When you try to go backwards, then the prop doesn't bite in the water as well, and it doesn't provide like a very good reverse. But since you're basically like, I'm 99% of the time going forward, obviously, so it, it's not that much of a problem. And when I want to go backward, I anyway don't want to go quick because I'm probably just parking the boat on a slip or something like that. So all in all, FlexoFold props are, are a really, really cool product to have on your boat. And it helps with, um, people are like, well, I'm not that much of a, of a performance minded person, uh, which most cruisers are not. But uh, what it helps with is it gives you an ability to sail in much lighter wind is what I find. Like because this prop offers less resistance and it's not spinning around, you can actually park it like that, engage it in reverse and it's going to fold like this and then it's out of the water stream and you're having much less resistance. So uh, uh, that coupled with a light hair uh, sail like a Code Zero, you will get your boat moving in much, much lighter wind, which means no wave, which means less wear and tear on the boat. And it's all around like a good, uh, good add-up to the boat is what I find. Have a good day.